Hello everyone, this is Rick, and welcome to Astral Club. This is Becoming an Astral Rescue Guide. Before we get into it, just want to mention Patreon. If you'd like to support the work of Astral Club, you can do so. Uh, when you join, you get a downloaded library of episodes that you can put on your podcast app and listen to wherever. There's no commercials. You get an email where we can talk back and forth. And of course, advanced videos on Sunday. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. Next up, private lessons. If you'd like to learn to astral project or just sharpen up your current abilities, I'd be glad to work with you. All you have to do is go to the description and send me a request for more information uh, at the email there in the description. Becoming an Astral Rescue Guide. This is something that I'm asked from time to time. It's not for everyone, but I've put together some uh, uh, activities and some uh, ideas here that you can use if you are interested in taking on what is a very difficult task. Essentially, what I'm talking about here is helping to rescue souls that are mired in the lower astral. These are souls that may have passed quickly and unexpectedly. They may still have a lot of ties to the physical uh, that may be in the area of drugs and alcohol that is hold, that are holding them down. It may be relationships that perhaps weren't the most functional that are holding them back. Uh, they may have situations where they're just so frightened to move on, or they may be confused. Uh, and a lot of these emotions can turn into anger, uh, so they can manifest in, in ways that appear uh, negative and violent. So, how can one assist these souls? Well, if the souls are on some level open to your assistance, it is possible to rescue them. And I have shared with you some of my experiences. But how do you go about becoming involved in this type of work? Well, first up, you need honorable intentions. Uh, in essence, you're out to protect the old, the young, the sick, anyone who cannot defend themselves. Uh, you're dealing with souls that uh, are very much inexperienced and who are suffering. And you are wishing to devote a good amount of your time on the astral to assisting these, these suffering entities. So how do you go about doing it? Well, first of all, in your meditations, request that you'd like to become an astral rescue guide. If accepted, you will find yourself having dreams. Pay attention to your dreams because they'll change uh, in nature. And some of them are going to be testing dreams. You will find that you are being tested and your intentions are being tested in a variety of morality plays that um, while you're in the dream, you think are real. So your real reactions are being tested here. If you pass those tests, and they are by no means all easy tests, because the tests they give you are the ones that are the most challenging for you in particular. But once you're able to pass that stage, um, then you can go on and begin the work. Now, What's really important to know that this work is not one where you're going to receive awards or accolades of any sort. The reward, if you want to look at it that way, is helping your fellow humans who are suffering. If that's not enough of a reward for you, then please stay away from this work because if that isn't your primary motivation, you're not only going to be unsuccessful, but you're not going to have a fun time astral projecting, I can assure you. Next up, you have to feel compassion and empathy and love for these poor souls. 
And in return, you can expect nothing but hate and hostility in many cases uh, as a frequent reward for your troubles. Remember, these entities are suffering. Think back to times when you have been in pain, when you have been suffering emotionally and physically. Have you been in the best of moods? Chances are no, um, because a lot of times that suffering turns into anger and hostility. And it's true in the physical, and it is true in the astral. So you have to expect this, and you have to not reply in kind, because you're only making things worse then. Understand that many of the folks you're going to try to work with won't be open to your help. And when you discover that, you'll have to move on to the next case, because free will is still in play here. And just like in the physical, unless someone, let's say with a drug or alcohol problem, comes to the realization that they have a very real problem, you cannot help them. It's the same in the astral. And that's, that's the rub. That's the most frustrating part. You can see this entity is in pain. You can see it's suffering in this little hell that it's trapped itself in, in the lower astral. Uh, perhaps it's craving after the drug high or craving after the, the feeling of, of, of drunkenness uh, or mired in, in deep depression uh, from something that happened in, in the physical. Uh, and they're just so deeply mired in their own problems and in their own little, like I said, little created hell for themselves, that you cannot reach them, uh, at least at that point in time. Then all you can really do at that point is show love, compassion, and empathy, and then move on and hope that at some time in the future that they will respond uh, to your uh, offers of help such that you can help move them on to a higher plane, and they can begin to uh, progress once again on a soul level rather than being stuck, um, you know, like someone, you know, deeply mired in, uh, in three feet of mud who can barely move. So that's the best you can do at that point in time. Next, you should be fearless. Now, I know it's hard to be fearless, so what I should say is you must learn to master your fear, to control it. Um, feeling uh, animal fear will just bring you back to your physical body. You must realize that though they may be acting in a hostile manner, um, they are suffering, but they also cannot truly harm you. And in fact, the only entities they're really harming is themselves because by showing hostility, they're sinking deeper and deeper into their own self-imposed exile. Um, so all you can do in response is offer that love and compassion and then wish them well and leave them. Uh, because uh, if, if all they can show you is marked hostility, even after you've shown love and compassion, then that means they're not currently reachable uh, in any sense of the word. Lastly, one must be patient. These souls won't respond to your efforts until they are truly ready. And on some level, they must not only be open to your help, but they must request it. Uh, and, and even a look of hope in their eyes as they look at you, I interpret as an invitation to please help me. When that happens, then you can truly work with them. And you can request the assistance of other light workers too, if you know your astral projection is going to be of short uh, timing. Uh, because once they are open, then others can assist as well. Uh, essentially, what I usually do is when I get them to open up, uh, I try to get them to 
leave behind all the worries and the concerns and the depression and, and the memories of violence and drug use and try to leave that all behind them and to think about pure love, someone they loved in a pure way, or a time when they had a moment of pure joy. And if you can get them to dwell on that, you will, you will raise their vibrations. And at that stage of the game, you can then encourage them to move on to the next level. And generally what will happen is they'll fade away, uh, usually with smiles on their faces, because they're going to a much better place than the one that they had been inhabiting. And in some cases, inhabiting for decades. Uh, because time can go by in a very odd way when you're mired in the lower astral. Uh, and I've discussed some of this before. Okay, this is going to be a, a short one. I just want to put that out there for anyone who is interested in, uh, in astral rescue. Uh, I hope you take this to heart if you are someone who'd like to be that type of a light worker. And I wish you all of the luck and all of the success, not only in the physical, but in the astral. Uh, if you thought this was a uh, interesting episode, please hit the like button. Share it with those of like minds. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure that bell notification is solid on all. And I'm interested in your questions and comments as always. And this is Rick, and I will see you on the astral plane.